Three episodes of Mandalorian. It's a good show. That's proceeding nicely. We're really gonna see. You know, <laughs> let's I'll dispel this thing. But oh, Boba Fett. There's more to Mandalorian than Boba Fett or Jango Fett. And yeah, I've done a little studying. So, yeah, okay, Jango Fett maybe was kind of a Mandalorian. I'll, I'll go more on that later. But it's a good show. It's getting there. And uh, it should do nicely now. On larger Star Wars related issues. I, I, I got to differ with uh, old buddy Rob Burnett about what a brilliant producer that Kathleen Kennedy was. She was brilliant and she was associated with some of the biggest films ever. But we need to nail down a little better. What actually did she do? And how much credit does she actually deserve for those movies? Because if all she was was a glorified number cruncher and getting Steven Spielberg's coffee. No! Sorry! And Rob, you know better than anybody. Anybody can be named a producer and not do jack squat on a movie set, okay? And with, you know, when you're working with George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, it's easy to be associated with the, big, with the biggest movies in history, okay? Because they're all... T For a while there, every movie in the like top ten ever made was either Spielberg or Lucas. And they would just re-release every once in a while to jockey for position. But her latest little statement there in the interview with Rolling Stone, I mean, well, that's kind of hard to do because you know, there's no source material. There's no comic books. There's no novels. It's like, you know. And by now, we've all seen the video of George and Kathy, and I'm who the interviewer was, sit at the table and in the process of him naming her the new head of Lucasfilm and saying he now is into her care. All these comic books, all these novels, all the... And even if you discount all that, he gave you three outlines for movies. There's your source material, you dumb idiot. I'm sorry. How she has made it this long in Hollywood to make a statement that idiotic to Rolling Stone. It's not like, not like she was overheard at a bar somewhere, okay? This is part of an interview. So, no, 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 no. Because, again, she, you know, she didn't have to have anything creative. You know, at least she had the, the greatest creative minds working, you know, working over her. And now she's in charge, and it turns out, no, she doesn't have those same creative instincts, and she can't recognize those creative instincts. She's bringing in people who don't have that kind of talent. You know, J.J. Abrams is a cut-and-paste director. Ryan Johnson is, like... He thinks he's trying to upend the world, you know. Your your expectations are crap. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an idiot for being for liking them. He's like, you give Colin Trevor of credit for you know bowing the hell out when it's hey I can't do anything with this crap. Look what you like me, you know. And JJ, I think, and it's and Tom Weekly say, you know, he, he's scared of endings. No kidding. That's why you never ended anything. You left it to others to wrap it up and try and figure out what the hell you were talking about. Yeah, note, when you're doing a mystery box there, JJ, figure out ahead of time what's in the mystery box. Don't leave it for someone else to figure it out, okay? Know what the hell you're doing. I'm pretty sure Arthur Conan Doyle, whenever he wrote a Sherlock Holmes story, he knew who did the killing before he started writing, okay? So, no, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe maybe Kennedy's getting you know, more blame than she deserves, but she she deserves some. Because... A big part of why Star Wars is in the shabby shape it's in is because of her decisions. She has led it to the cliff. And she seems hell-bent to push it over the edge just to say that it's her decision. Frankly, advice to Bob Iger. Push it back to May. Hand it over to George Lucas. If he wants to work with J.J. on this one for continuity's sake, fine. But you've got to scrap this thing around. Because everything I'm hearing, it's going to be a dumpster fire of galactic proportions. So, things are proceeding uh, on some fronts, and on other fronts, they're not proceeding. I can't get anybody to get my disability case going. 
I'm still getting, you know, yeah, whatever insurance is only paying part of it. I don't know. I'm getting thousand dollar bills for things. It's like, hey, I didn't agree to you towing my truck away. And besides, the insurance company owns that truck now. I don't know it. You do I'm trying to get things going on there. Then so things will all sort out, whatever. But it's still irritating as hell. And right now my arm is kind of walked in this kind of a Mad Max type of armor thing here. But I get one more for the other side. I'm halfway to doing my armor set, but yeah, because we got the breastplate over there. It's supposed to be where I'm going to set up. In the meantime, PayPal, Patreon, yada yada devil, and again the GoFundMe is still down. It's we got a ways here, guys. I mean, there's there's a good chunk in there, but we need a good chunk more to really make this, you know, work without any more major trauma to our lives. And the and the address is for the time being, uh, Captain Robert April four zero four six North Goldenrod Road, number one one five, Winter Park, Florida three two seven nine two. And we will get back at you later.